Welcome to the HyperWorks 2023 introduction videos. This video is about defining a direction or a plane. You will see how to use the direction definition in the move tool and in the vector tool. There are two tools that may show up when you need to define a direction or a plane. The move tool and the vector tool. Before starting to look at both in a practical application, isolate the solid geometry in the model. And before we begin the exercise, let's have a first brief look at the basics of the Move tool. Open the tool and set its selector to Solids. Now click on the orange solid to select it. Note that the Move tool appears in the center of the solid. You can now either drag one of the arrows to move the solid in a certain direction, or grab the origin of the move tool to reposition it by moving it with the mouse. To precisely control the positioning action, you may enter the intended coordinates of the origin into the micro dialog. Or you can use snaps to easily position entities related to each other. To do so, you may first want to place the origin of the move tool on a certain snap on the entity that shall be moved. This is possible by holding the shift key pressed. See the move tool turn orange. In this state, you can move it without the selected entity being affected. Let us drop the move tool on a certain snap here. Then lift shift to return to the white status of the move tool. Finally grab the origin of the move tool and drag and drop it to the intended position using snaps. However, this was not what we wanted to achieve here. Leave the move tool by hitting the escape key twice. Then repeatedly hit Ctrl plus C until you reach the initial status of the model. Now to our task, which will teach us how to define certain directions or planes. Assume that the blue plate shall be moved 40 units along the direction of the gray profile. And then the gray profile needs to be extruded by the same amount to re-establish connectivity of the two parts. Start by entering the Move tool and selecting the blue solid to be moved. Now press and hold Shift to see the Move tool become orange and independent of the selected solid. Position the origin of the Move tool by snapping it to one edge of the gray part. Then grab the snap at the tip of one arrow and also snap it onto the edge of the gray part. Now lift the shift key. The move tool turns white, which means it will now affect the selected solid. Then grab the respective arrow to start moving the solid. Finally use the micro dialog to enter the desired value of translation. Note that this takes into account the sign of the current orientation of the axis of the Move tool. So much for the Move tool. Exit it now, for example by hitting Escape twice, to prepare for working on the gray profile. To adjust the profile's length, open the Extrude tool. Then select the surface of the cross-section to use it as the base for the extrusion operation. Note that this time, a different symbol appears than in the Move tool. By default, you can drag this broad arrow to extrude along the selected surface as normal. To adjust this to the intended direction, click on Along Vector in the Micro dialog and see a different tool appear. You may remember this tool from the previous exercise, when you were cutting surfaces by plane. So this tool can define a plane when asked for it but also a direction when asked for that, like in the current case. To adjust the direction, you may use options in the micro dialog. Like for example, changing the orientation, selecting the screen normal or parallel, or open a copy of the move tool. When you did this, you need to click anywhere in the modeling window and then select the vector tool to make the micro dialog reappear. Furthermore, the micro dialog lets you select a local coordinate system or a vector. Finally, it is possible to define the vector orientation or the origin of the vector by entering values manually. 
However, there's an easier way to accomplish our goal. We simply grab first the circle at the origin of the arrow and drop it onto an edge. Then we grab the circle at the tip of the arrow to position it also onto that edge. Much like before with the move tool. The direction is defined now, you just need to return to the functionality you adjusted it for. To do so, hit Escape. See the short, broad arrow now pointing in the direction you defined. Drag it with the mouse to start extruding the surface. Then enter the exact value for dragging in the micro dialog. Finally, confirm the extrusion operation and leave the tool by hitting the OK button in the guide bar. The next video in the series will show you how to organize entities in a model. Thanks for watching.